Today, I'm gonna to take you to the whiteboard to show you exactly how you can do the super simple math to know exactly what interest rate you need to offer. If you're doing creative finance, you're trying to negotiate on interest rate. I bought hundreds of units this way. You need to know how to actually do the math to make sure you're not losing money. Remember, we're buying deals on long-term cash flowing fixed rate debt. How do you know that you're gonna make money on every dollar borrowed? I'm gonna show you exactly how. Follow me to the whiteboard. All right, if you haven't heard of it, loan factor rate. Now that is your principal plus your interest annually. So if you're looking at it monthly, multiply by 12, divided by your total amount of debt. So if I'm borrowing a million dollars, I'm gonna take my monthly principal payments plus my monthly interest payments, annualize them, multiply by 12, divided by the total amount that we owe. That's it. Now, if you're doing interest only, realize that's just interest over total debt. Your interest only interest rate is the same as your loan factor rate. Where people go wrong, is they don't actually measure what it costs on an annual basis to run the property. The principal payments, while you are paying down principal, are a monthly cost. You can negative cash flow while building equity in your property. If you bleed money, you'll lose the property. For buying long-term cash flowing fixed rate debt, we know what this is. For our example here, let's say we're using an interest-only product of 4%, so our actual loan factor rate will be 4% interest. Now let's talk about the cap rate. If you don't know what a cap rate is, this is a basic piece of real estate math. This is just saying your net operating income, NOI, divided by the purchase price is going to be represented as a percentage. This is essentially saying, if you bought the deal in cash, this would be your return on investment. So for every dollar invested into the deal, it yields this much. Let's say we're buying on a five cap. So we have a 5% cap rate and a 4% loan factor rate, which means the spread between these two, there is a 1% delta where the cap rate is higher than the debt cost. This is saying every dollar in the deal, remember you buy every deal with money, it just might not be your money. Every dollar in the deal yields 5%. If you're borrowing at 4%, you are making a 1% spread on every dollar borrowed, this will work. This gap right here, you always want your cap rate to be higher than the loan factor rate. Where most people go wrong is they do not factor for principal. So if you have an amortized schedule, you need to plug this into a loan calculator, figure out what the actual monthly payment is, annualize it, divide by the total amount of debt, you're going to get a true cost of capital presented as a ratio. You should be able to do this very quickly. And if you can process this very, very quickly, what you're going to find is you know exactly what you need to offer on the deal. If you do not have a positive spread here, if your cap rate is not higher than the loan factor rate, you did not negotiate well enough, you need to go back to the drawing board. This cannot be skipped. If you do this simple math, you always know what to offer. So here's all you need to know. Your loan factor rate, if you can calculate that, and that's basic algebra, right? Your annual debt cost divided by the total amount of debt. And your cap rate, your net operating income, NOI, that's your income minus expenses, not including the debt divided by the target purchase price. If you are talking to a seller and they give you a desired price for a property and you have the basic inputs for what the income is going to be, you simply calculate NOI, figure out what the cap rate is day one. It's not what they tell you and it's not a pro forma. It is the actual, what does this property bring in day one? What is the actual cap rate of the property on acquisition? What is our actual cost of debt that is proposed if you borrow at a lower loan factor rate than your cap rate? You will make money on every dollar borrowed. You want to go as low down as possible. You will make the largest cash on cash return based on that spread. Now, I realize that this is the first time you've ever heard this. This might seem a little bit much, but it's simple algebra. Go back and watch this a couple times. If you're still stuck, share it with a friend. If you're still stuck, reach out to me directly. Just shoot me a DM on Instagram at Christian Osgood, or even better, check out multifamilystrategy.com. We have courses and a mentorship group that goes over this and so much more on how to play the game. I hope this was helpful. Give us a like and follow. It really helps grow the channel and get this out to more people and allows me to make more content like this for you. For everyone watching, we'll see you on the next episode.